Southern plant-based cooking. Creamy scallop and mushroom plant-based soup. A spin on oyster and scallop soup with a plant-based twist. First, slice your heart of palm into one quarter inch slices and saute in olive oil with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and cavender seasoning. Then saute your trinity, which is bell pepper, onion, and celery in olive oil until done and translucent. Um, you can make sure you stir that around real good where it's nice and evenly good with the olive oil. Then add chopped artichoke hearts to saute down. Um, make sure that you stir this around good. You can add salt to this too, which will help it cook a little bit faster. Um, then you add your chopped garlic. I use fresh um, garlic cloves. I think that adds a little more pop to it. Then you're going to put that down in the food processor um, to where it's done really, really well. Um, I saved a little bit out of it just to make sure that I had some texture in the soup. Then you're going to add your chopped mushrooms and chopped artichoke hearts back to the skillet um, to saute that down with salt and pepper. Um, make sure that it gets a little bit brown. You just want to get that flavor to pop out. Then you're going to go to your stock pot and you're going to add equal parts oil and all-purpose flour or you can do self-rising either way. Um, just make sure that you do not stop stirring this. You're going to make a roux with this. You don't want it to burn. Cook this on medium heat. So keep it moving. Um, you don't want to get too dark because you want to keep the color of your soup light. Next, we're gonna add our vegetable stock. Make sure that you whisk this really good. Add your vegetable stock in parts, not all at one time, so you could be sure to incorporate the flour into the vegetable stock where there are no lumps. Um, it's really important, so take your time with this. Make sure that you whisk it really good. Next, we're going to add our rich and creamy cashew milk that's unsweetened. Um, make sure that you do the unsweetened to be sure that it doesn't make this soup sweet. We're also going to add coconut cream um, to make this extra creamy and thick um, and it doesn't overpower the flavor so don't worry about that whenever you're adding your coconut cream. Next you're going to add your Kevinder's Greek seasoning. Um, really, really powerful stuff so just add to your taste. Also add some white pepper and then we're going to go ahead and add our salt and pepper as well. Make sure you give this a good stir. Um, you don't want the seasonings to clump up. So make sure that you whisk really good together. And we're also going to add, after um, we've added the salt and pepper, our mixture that we use in the food processor, as well as the sauteed mushroom and artichokes. Um, also, we um, did keep a little bit out of the mixture that we made previously to make some creamy and then have some texture. So. Make sure you get that a really good stir. Add a little bit of water to make sure that you get the right volume that you want for the soup that you're making. You don't want it to be just cream. And then um, you can add your nori flake here. Um, you can get this from any specialty market, um, whole foods, things like that. This just adds a little, a little sea flavor um, to that soup. Um, make sure that you cook that a little bit down and add your smoked gouda plant-based cheese. This adds so much flavor to this. Try not to skip out on this. Um, you can get this from, from Walmart now, um, easy to find. Also add your green onions, give it a good stir. This is gonna be so good, y'all. I wish you could smell it, it's delicious. Oh. Now we're gonna add our sauteed scallops to the mix. These are gold. They're like little medallions, they're so good. Um, I am not a huge scallop fan, but this, the texture, when scallops are done right, they're really good. The texture of this is on point, and the nori flake adds that extra flavor to it. So give it a good stir, y'all. This is some good stuff, man. I wish you could smell it. Can't wait for you to try it. Look at that goodness. Mm, good stuff right there. Fill you up, man. It's delicious. Enjoy it. make sure to like, subscribe, and share. It's delicious food, y'all. I can't wait to show you more of what we're making in our kitchen and bring it to you here. Enjoy, y'all.